today's battle is between two freshwater fish that have no teeth but are still excellent predators. It's between the largemouth bass and the arowana. Let's get into this. Arowanas are from Asia and they can be up to three to four feet long and can weigh up to around like five to ten pounds when fully matured. Okay, largemouth bass. Largemouth bass can be up to, can, you know, largemouth bass live in North America, and they can be up to around one to three feet long, and weigh up to around, like, and largemouth bass weigh up to around 12 pounds, which is freaking huge. <coughs> so, you can see there's a lot of back and forth size differences, but okay. Okay, weapons, Joss vs. Joss. The bass is like the freaking, he's the buff guy. And he has this giant freaking mouth to eat his opponents. While the slender arowana is quick, fast, and has, and has a quick, great, quick, great power. But the bass can be fast when he needs to. But in the end, I had to give it to the largemouth bass because of its, like, you know, its jaw structure and its environment and losing, yeah. Okay, now let's go on to the... Yes, we're using the, the maximum size. So, yeah. Now the x factors. Aromanas, they're really fast for their huge size and they're like a freaking bullet, man. Largemouth bass, on the other hand, when put in a freaking pond, they can almost wipe out pretty much anything. Well, besides their predators, but other than that, yeah. And plus, the, plus, no one really messes with them besides birds, maybe some crocodilians now and then, but like, yeah. Maybe some other bigger fish, like gar, muskie, pike, walleye, you know, stuff. <laughs> in the end, bass gets to the X Factor. Okay, now, main stats, speed, arowana, strength, slight margin to the bass, brains, tide, attack, tide, and defense goes to the freaking bass. Okay, let's fight. Okay, so the bass is just patrolling the waters, you know, he's looking for something to eat. And then he then sees this, like, bright colored orange fish just swimming along. He's like... I never seen this fish before, so he doesn't really mind. Until this giant orange fish bites him and tries to swallow him and trying to so like, hey, get out of my way. The bass get then goes all out offensive and starts biting the the arowana. Water is splashing everywhere and the fish in the air try to avoid the fight and they're swimming away. But these two heavyweights are just going at it. They're biting each other. They're the fight even takes out of the water sometimes. Like, they both jump out of the water just trying to fight each other. It's just like, ah, yeah. oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Like, uh, it's just a bunch of fighting and fighting. They don't even have any teeth, and yet they're doing a lot of damage to each other. Then they both get tired out and decide to call, call it quits. Nah, they're still going. <laughs> they just... They keep biting and biting. The bass is, delivers a lot more damage, but the, um, the arowana is a lot faster and delivers more hits. It's just, it's just back and forth biting, and the water is turning. It's, the water is like, it looks like it's freaking steaming. And then bullfish actually call it quits because they're tired. Next thing. <laughs> Bass just comes out of nowhere, swallows a minnow. Well, the meanwhile, this giant arowana just swallowed a freaking cat. I'm just kidding, no. He didn't eat a cat. He swallowed a gator. I'm just kidding. No, but for real, he hasn't eaten yet. And the bass sees the arowana, and they both go at it again. It's just back and forth fighting, back and forth fighting, and back and forth fighting. Until they see a dark shadow above them. They look up and they look up and see oh they know the bass knows what's coming. It's a fucking osprey. The osprey comes charging in, the bass hides under the underwater bridge. The arowana, being brightly colored and not knowing what the hell this bird is, tries to escape with the bass but then gets grabbed. The bass looks up pure luck.
The winner is the largemouth bass, but verdict. If the Osprey wasn't there, this fight would have gone on forever. But in the end, I had to say the bass gets the advantage because of its, like, you know, its weapons, its size, and everything. But the Arowana could win. But, like, 51% of the time goes to the bass. 51%, yeah. But who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. Suggestions, because time is running out, and yeah. Bye-bye. See you guys later.